For question number 153, the correct option is option number 4. And through the steps of solution, we shall draw the same figure that was given in the question with a bit of modification. Let me draw that again in step number 1. The elliptical path of a planet around the sun, which is at one of the two foci, the elliptical path, and the major axis of this elliptical path, they have named it AC. S is the sun at one focus, and SB is the perpendicular drawn on AC. Okay? So I shall show the sun a little larger than the original figure by this red dot. This is the sun. And the planet by a blue dot, let me show it in three positions. One is at position B, vertically above the sun. I just write here also planet for these blue dots. And there are two more positions for this planet. One is at C, the farthest apart from the sun. That is called the aphelion position. Understand that. And another position is A. That is the point nearest to the sun on the elliptical path. And that is called perihelion. The question is to compare the kinetic energies of the planet at the three positions A, B and C. And for that, you recall the second law of Kepler, which says that as a planet revolves around the sun in elliptical orbit, the radius vector from the sun to the planet sweeps equal areas in equal times. So if you have to sweep equal areas in equal times, I can show two positions. One is perihelion, one is aphelion. So in a given interval, when the planet is farthest at point C, at aphelion from the sun, suppose in a given interval, the radius vector sweeps an area shown by this yellow shading, right? And the same interval, when the planet is at perihelion, the closest point that is A, in the same interval, the planet has to sweep an equal area shown here by this green shading. Now, by second law of Kepler, if these two areas have to be the same, since they are swept in equal intervals, you can see here, when the planet is at the farthest position C from the sun, it has to travel the minimum arc length in a given time. In the same interval, when in aphelion, the planet travels the smallest arc length along this orbit, and while at the perihelion position, to make sure this area is equal to this area, the planet has to travel the maximum arc length along the path, along the elliptical path. In other words, when aphelion, the farthest point in C, the linear speed of the planet is minimum, that is minimum kinetic energy. And when at perihelion position, the closest to the sun at A, Linear speed is the maximum, accounting for the maximum kinetic energy. And the conclusion is, at position A, kinetic energy of the planet is maximum. At position C, kinetic energy is minimum. And at position B, somewhere between. So Ka should be greater than Kb, that greater than Kc. And that was the option 4 given in the question. So I have chosen option number 4. One step solution, but you to understand and assimilate Kepler's second law very properly. I have shown it here with a clear diagram.